Welcome to the Takashi Podcast, episode 84, I want to say. I'm really feeling myself today. If you couldn't tell, like, so much to say. Like, first of all, I'm, I, I really thought my other mic was fixed. It's not. Have to revert to using this one. And I want to say that my outfit is, lo- is not low-key because I thought it out and I was like, oh, yeah, I want to wear that shirt. Like, I've con- kind of always liked shirts like these. Um, and I want to wear it with a black pant to emulate or like give kind of a low-key tribute to rouge the bat and i don't know if you like um it, the, the sonic character rouge the bat from the sonic the hedgehog franchise <laughs> because like i was obsessed with her when i was a kid when i was 11 oh my god um I was just obsessed with, like, her sensualness and, like, ooh, they got a sexy character amongst, like, you know, the shadow, the knuckles, whatever. And, yes, I'm talking about, like, I don't know. Would it be considered a kid's franchise? Because I feel like there's adults that like it. But also, like, that was, like, I, I, I loved Sonic so much. You can ask anyone that knew me at that age. Sonic was, like, my whole life embarrassingly so but also right now i'm literally looking at like a knockoff like knuckles i don't know it's like a keychain it's really cute um but yeah i was thinking about that recently before we get into this week's topic or this episode's topic um i want to say that like i've been doing the whole like inner child thing no not, not like seriously first of all went to a therapist started going to a therapist it's great recommended for everyone uh which is easier said than done, but, like, I just wanted to put that out there that, like, you can all celebrate that I am going to therapy. <laughs> but, yeah, I haven't been doing inner child work necessarily, even though, you know, I've been, like, all my friends are always, like, oh, yeah, when you go to the therapist, they'll, like, you know, the first thing they'll say is, like, what about your childhood? And it's true, but I say that I've been doing inner child work as in, like, going back to things that I liked as a kid and stuff like that. And I feel like we should all be a little more childish you know, I'm a responsible person, and I think I'm pretty responsible, uh, with my, you know, responsibilidad afectiva, como que, I think, you know, there's people that are childish with that, you know, like, all the men that you meet that are childish, and not in the good way, why can't men be childish in, like, the, you know, like, take you go-karting, or, uh, watch cartoons with you, wait, why does it gotta be, like, they're childish, uh, in a way where they mismanage your feelings, but anyway, um, yeah, I've been, like, going back to things that I liked as a kid, I also, I mean, not that this is childish, but I watched, uh, Avatar Last Airbender, so good, I'm so glad I watched it, um, I've, I've also been drawing, which I feel like in itself almost feels like, not only do I feel childish because it's something I used to do as a child, but also I feel like, you know, any person that you ask, like, oh, what are you doing? And you're expecting them to just be, like, chilling or doing some adult shit. I'm like, oh, I'm I'm, do- I'm drawing. I'm doodling in my little notebook. Like, I, I don't know why it feels that way. But I saw my mom play with some toys that I handed to her recently. And there was something in her. In her 60, she, my mom is 60. In her 60-year-old ass that just, ma- it moved me a little. I was like, that's so... I don't know, there's just like, I feel like everyone should do that, I feel like the world would be a better place if we did that, also, if you can't tell, I'm really feeling myself, I don't know why my hair just looks so good, like the the curls, but also, this is just a little bit of hair spray paint type thing, like it'll wash off, but uh, I did it because it's, this is the Valentine's episode, I put it on yesterday to hang out with my girls, and I don't know, just to be like, it was, it was kind of like our Galentine, so I was like, you know, pink hair. I will uh, announce stuff on that soon. I've been working on it. Uh, I've been, you know, it, it, soon. That's when you'll hear about it. But anyway, this episode today, let's talk about today. Um, I have no topic. This is supposed to be the Valentine's episode. I feel like ever since we started, I've been doing like, I know at the beginning I did a Valentine's series where I talked about friendship and I did like the the test of like love languages test and stuff like that. Uh, that was fun. I don't remember what I did in 2022 or 2023 for Valentine's Day, but like 
we're getting back to our roots we're doing kind of a valentine's episode and honestly i mean my idea on love has changed right like i which is one of the topics here well not one of the topics i just have like a few things written out that i was like oh maybe i'll touch on this during the episode and the first one is i've given up on my idea of love and i feel like putting it that way sounds negative but it's also like i feel like a lot of us we have an idea of what it's gonna be like when we grow up and we like you know, this typical idea that, like, everyone has of, like, oh, growing up and getting married and having kids or whatever, um, I think my idea of love was, like, a little different, like, when I made the episode where I was, like, where am I gonna be in five years, um, I don't know, my idea of what, like, what I want in a partner has changed as well, like, when I say give up, it's just, like, I don't know, I've recently learned that you can't really, you can't really have an idea of how that's gonna turn because, like, then you... You could miss out on something great even though i feel like more people give in to what's being presented to them you know like i know so many people that like are dating and they're like oh um you know like this guy isn't really my type but like he's oh my god he become the love of my life like he's like the best or whatever it, that, that happens and that is so okay i feel like maybe for us anxious people <laughs> we have to kind of like i don't know because i think i could have an idea I, and I do have an idea. It's funny how the things that you want out of relationships also change. Like, I'm just not gripping hard on, like, the idea of, like, what I want, I guess. And I feel like a lot of people shouldn't either. We shouldn't just take whatever. I'm not saying that, like, you know, you should have probably a vague idea. But, like, I think being so attached to what has to happen or what will happen doesn't really in let us enjoy so many things like i i also want to say that um i think i've talked about this a million times i swear to god i feel like i'm exhausted talking about this but i do personally love being single and it's crazy that there are people out there that not not only are like are not okay with being single like you were born alone you're gonna die alone alone Hello, I'm an Australian. Not only that, but like you, people don't believe that you can be happy single. That to me is crazy because I feel like that says a lot about them in like a pretty negative way. Not gonna lie to y'all. I've been living kind of like being like, okay, like I am very happy with how I am right now. And I know that at some point when I do meet someone and, you know, I have someone here in my house where I live. <laughs> I do know that like I'm gonna miss those times you know and I feel like you don't see it in the moment so like I'm not just with that but like with everything in my life I've been trying to be so much more present and being like I'm gonna miss this I'm gonna miss 2024 I'm gonna miss this moment where I'm like making myself food in the kitchen or when I'm like chilling in my bed alone like I don't know and I, I get I, I get people being miserable single I get it because it's like because of this idea that we've been pushed, but it's also like, it's making you so, it's it's inhibiting you from actually enjoying life in general, if we're being honest, like, I, I think there's nothing worse than just not being able to stand on your own, and that's what I've been doing and trying to do, I also, it, it just comes so naturally to me, like, I like being single, I like being like, I don't know, I feel like people are just, it, it's crazy how some people are miserably single, like, it's not, no, like, I feel like you have to be able to enjoy both being single and being like with a person. There's just people that can't be, if we're being honest. It, and, and it's quite baffling to me that it still exists like three years into this podcast. Okay. So yeah, that, that was one of my thoughts. Um, I also want to talk about like, and, and I've posted about this like probably like over three years ago. I posted about that video of Eartha Kitt. Can't believe I almost forgot the incomparable Eartha Kitt I love Eartha Kitt I loved her in in uh The Emperor's New Groove and she's just she was an icon I always quote that thing where Stewie from Family Guy's like President Johnson bring her it's an unwinnable war da -da -da -da. like I, I love that it's it's a joke from Family Guy I'm sorry but you know there's that video where I guess like it's an interview of her and someone like a man asked her like are you willing to compromise for a man I guess I don't even know the full context of this conversation, but, you know, a man asked her that. I guess it was just, like, 
kind of taking like an insight to her life, I'm assuming. And she just bursts out laughing. Like, she just goes like, compromise for what? For a man? Like, just assuming like for a man? Like, a man has to come into my life and I have to compromise. And shout out to Eshi's 2023 winners of Ruga Maravilla, who retweeted or quoted uh, the video on Twitter and posted, La primera vez que vi esto, algo se movió en mí cuando ella dice, for what? ¿Para qué carajo no tiene que ceder con estos cabrones? ¿Cuántas veces me he traicionado y para qué? ¿Para qué estoy dispuesta a ceder y para qué no? ¿Para qué? Es una pregunta clave y una guía fundamental en mi vida. And, you know, I think that there is this idea of... Listen, relationships are hard. Life is hard. Like, I do believe in, like, you know... I mean, this is going to sound controversial. But then I remember that no one listens to this podcast, so it's, you know... But, you know, I think that, uh, for example, the whole Beyonce and Jay-Z thing, like, we don't... You know, the truth is that we don't live there. We don't... You know, she obviously deserves better. But, you know, you can't really force someone to leave someone. So, you know, it's it's a very hard thing, right? So, I do understand when people or friends or something like... I do understand suafan with a person and how much they love a person and how much they develop such a romantic and deep and crazy in love feelings not like infatuation it's not you're dating this person you've been dating this person for two months no like serious relationships that have been through major ups and downs um which sounds so tacky i'm so sorry i think i am at a point in my life where i am not gonna compromise no longer i have compromised i have compromised my dignity my self-respect my time my efforts my love my um You know, for like a person who, hey, genuinely, we were just not meant to be. And it's, you know, there's this quote that's like, uh, you know, sometimes you just, it's not a quote, but it it was a quote that said something along the lines of like, you have to see what suffering, like how you played the role in your own suffering. And yeah, I didn't want to see the signs. I was like, I... Like, I love this person. Love is bigger than anything. And hey, I genuinely have feared not falling in love again. But I think that if I ever am in a relationship again, and I consider this person worthy, I don't love him, of course. No, I'm kidding. But if I... It, love is more complicated. Love is a very concept, co- complicated concept that, as you can see with my examples, uh, I fight a lot with. But if I ever see that I want to be with a man and you know it just kind of works and there is the possibility of love there i will never compromise ever again there's so much that i feel like i don't understand why i mean i understand why right because we believe in the best of people or it's hard it's hard when you love a person and then you don't like That's why I think that having a strong sense of self will save you so much from so many things. And I have had a strong sense of self and I have lost my strong sense of self and I've regained it and I lose it. And, you know, life just it's just not linear. But it is something that I hope a lot of people know that, like, do not compromise. I am so grateful and lucky that I am in a position where I don't have to. There is nothing that a man can give me that you know like there there's a i saw a quote that was like how are you going to compete with this and it's like just like how are you going to compete with myself how are you going to compete with like you coming into my life and bringing me something that i need or desperately because there's nothing that i need but maybe something i desperately want which is companionship da 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 but like i generally don't see it happening where a guy is more important than me than my peace, than so much stuff. And that sounds cringy, but it, it, it's actually very true. You know, so that was one of the thoughts that I had. And lastly, um, I do want to touch on this one, like, thought that I had recently 
because of conversations that I've had or whatever that like first of all la vida es bien larga and that's something that I've been thinking about for a while now like it's been three years since I moved out almost almost three years and it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it you know a lot of things have changed a lot of like people have come and go a lot of like whatever but life is still like it, it's crazy how it doesn't feel like three years three years to me used to feel like a lifetime and it doesn't anymore and la vida ahora es bien like i don't know i, I guess i think about it fear i think a lot about it in the sense of uh age i feel like we see people or at least i see people in their 40s now and i'm like damn you've lived a, a long life like You've been conscious for so long, for like 20 years or 30 years. Like, damn, I don't know. I, I guess I think about that a lot in a sense. But there's also just so much. I say out of the fact that there's so much to live. There's so much to enjoy outside of relationships. I always talk about this because there. I feel like I, I don't like to be associated with men-centered women, with people who are always talking about relationships who are, or people who are always like, I don't know. I don't I don't know what to make of it because it's like I don't mean to sound individualistic, but it's also like I like to be so independent that I don't need anyone else, but I also of course like I have my friends, I have my family, whatever, but I feel like if that's the only thing you talk about, I don't know. I don't it gets a little tiring after a while. Anyway, the point is that there is just so much to do. There's so much to live. There's so much to like. To anyone out there being single and depressed about it, like, honestly, go and like get a fucking hobby. <laughs> Or like, I don't know. There's just so much. There's so much more than just like relationships and and even friends. Friends are great, um, but if you can't live without them, then it's like, I don't know. But either way. That's not even the quote or anything. What I wanted to say was this little excerpt from, I guess, my la my diary, in a way, my journal, if you want to call it like that or something. Um, but it was based on a conversation that, um, like, I honestly, I, like I was saying, I have pretty, I know what I want, right? I know what I want out of life, out of a relationship, and I don't, or at least I think I do. You know, like I'm pretty loose on it. But I also, you know, let's say that I meet someone and um, like it's great and everything. I don't even know how to say this, but what I wrote down was that I am not a pessimist. Ni soy una conformista, you know, because when I say what I'm about to say, it doesn't mean that I have like low standards or that I expect anyone to just like, you know, or that I expect things to fail. But I am ready for failure. Cuando digo que la vida es larga, I mean that, like, you know, people that you know right now, they're probably not going to be in those relationships in the future. That's not negativity. I wish those relationships well. I hope that every single relationship that is healthy and currently happening right now makes it. But there is a possibility that it won't. And I think me con todas las decepciones que yo he pasado and seeing that in the future things last but sometimes they don't i am ready for failure i am like generally ready for the next person that i meet to not be the love of my life or you know and that doesn't mean that i'm accepting just like anyone or that like i'll just let them go without like you know but but i think it is what i'm saying about like you gotta compete with me you gotta compete with what i have to give myself you have to give me something that i don't have and that's you probably won't so it has to be something that i you know that's that i really want that i lack it doesn't mean that i'm a pessimist or that i'm like oh it's whatever i don't really care about these things but i think i think we talk about like what goes wrong in relationships or whatever and we don't talk enough about like being able to attune yourself and be like okay this failed i have to work on my own on my own emotions about it 
we often go like oh they have to fix they have to be like this and i've i i will say that i've been that kind of person that's like oh they suck they did this it's like no i have to kind of work on myself and make it so this doesn't destroy me so this breakup doesn't destroy me so this you know i think that's important um literally the next line is i will never let heartbreak break me ever again lovers are great and marriages can end life goes on you know and it really does and i think that if you have to take anything from this whole podcast episode is don't put your egg all your eggs in one basket don't rely don't make your happiness rely on just one person or people or i don't know like there is just so much to live outside of the relationships that we have with people i guess and i i hate how i sound like so anti-love or anti no i'm very pro healthy love i'm very pro think like relationships giving you things that you can't give yourself or i don't know I'm, i'm very pro things being like complete and wholesome and nothing half-assed you know but also preparing yourself for the possibility of you know phases in life like maybe you know like there are people out here 50 years old let's say and they were married probably for like 30 years and then those relationships ended and they have no idea what to do with their lives and it's crazy because 30 years is a lifetime i haven't lived 30 years and they have been in relationships for that amount of time maybe and it's like i think it's just you know i I think when you get what you get out of being a complete person when you then get into a healthy relationship and stuff like that is it, it, just what makes life better so um that was the valentine's day episode i hope you liked it i feel like it was so all over the place but i also feel like um i discussed things that i had in mind for a while uh i hope you enjoy and of course again check out um all the links in the description for palestine i hope you were able to watch this episode and uh know that all the money is going to them so yeah again thank you so much have a great valentine's day because this episode's coming out on valentine's day enjoy yourself eat a lot of chocolate and strawberries and um just try to be as happy and give give all the love that you can honestly that's that's how i'm gonna end this episode um but yeah thank you guys so much be on alert for uh eshi's announcements that will be coming out soon and i will see y'all thank you so much and i will see you on the next one bye guys